Hi everybody. Welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day or night. It's night for me. <laughs> uh, my daughter Adeline, the two-year-old, she is sick. She's been running a fever for two days of about 100, 100, <clears throat> excuse me, 100, 101. Um, she's been whiny, clingy. If I leave her for two seconds, she follows me running after me, mommy, mommy. Um, oh, excuse me. And yesterday she was refusing to take any medicine I gave her. And, um, my husband found one of the syringe things that you use to, for medicine for babies. And I said, I'm going to need you to find that because... I, I can't see any other way of getting this medicine into her mouth. I tried to put it in with one of them spoon medicine things. I'm tired. Please forgive me. I can't think of names right now. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, And she just spit it all out. So I'm like, I need... I think she might have got a little bit in her. Because... I don't know. I think she might have, but not enough to do anything. So my husband found it and I was able to get a lot of it in our system, the full dose in our system this time. Um, <clears throat> so because you got to stick it in the cheek and stick it to the very back and squeeze it in slowly, little by little. And she fought me, but I won. I won the battle. Uh, yeah. So I am starting to feel a little bit better. I'm still tired. Um, I'm still swollen. I feel like the swelling is going down though. Um, yeah, the swelling back here is still just as bad, but the swelling up here is going down slowly, but surely. So, and thank you guys for all of your tips tricks you sent me I still haven't gone out to buy lemons so I will go out and buy lemons because I love lemons anyways um so I will go out and buy lemons but the hot compresses thank you I actually didn't think about that at all knowing that heat helps with things um but I appreciate everything and everybody's saying you're gonna pray for me thank you I appreciate that so much and yes, I'm sorry for the ring light glare. Again, I haven't figured out where else to put it yet. We're working on it though. I'm thinking it's going to go over here. Because right now it's over there. So I'm thinking it's going to go right here. Next to my desk. I just need to make room for it. Because there's crap over there. There's crap everywhere. Like trying to clean out this basement and reorganize things is... insane but my mother-in-law is awesome she came over the other day to help me to watch the girls so I could go take a nap because I was absolutely wrecked I having trouble staying awake I just I could not and I'm t I'm not supposed to be drinking any pop for my throat oh, I'm supposed to be getting fluids in so I've been drinking like 90% water. I have taken, I have drank a little bit of pop. I know I'm not supposed to, but I, I just, I'm having withdrawals. <laughs> I need my caffeine. So 90% water is a whole lot better than I was doing before because I really don't like drinking water. But when my mother-in-law came over, she brought me presents. Okay, I'm going to tell you what she the first thing she gave me. She asked me if I wanted a boombox, a CD player. It's not really a boombox. A CD player. And I said, sure. Why not? I still have tons of CD. I still have cassette tapes. Like, I will take it. I will take anything you, you, you have. I love free stuff. And I have so many CDs. And we have plugs outside in the backyard. So during the summertime, while we're out chilling in the backyard or... My husband's barbecuing and the girls are playing, whatever. We can take 
the CD player outside and actually listen to music. Like the music on our CDs because we don't listen to them anymore because we don't have a CD player. But now we do. So thank you, Kathy. Um, and then she brought in this huge stack of magazines. Huge, huge stack. They are sewing magazines, so I can get started on things. And I love the boombox. I love the magazines, but these. She brought me these back from her trip to Hawaii. She went on a cruise to Hawaii for her birthday. And she brought me these. They are, um, chocolate covered macadamia nuts and these are freaking heaven I love them I had like three of them before I came on camera this is my first time trying them they are delicious if you want to look them up you can um, they are gluten free too totally gluten free it says they've been in business since 1946 and they learned how to grow and roast their macadamias in the shadow of, however you say this, the volcano. And these are so, so good. If you want to see if they deliver or anything like that, there's their website. I totally, totally recommend looking into these. Because I'm going to go on their website and see if they deliver for a decent price. And if they do, I'm going to buy more. Because they taste like absolute heaven. But, okay, back to the sewing magazine. Oh, and my mother-in-law told me that she will come help me. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. She will come help me thread my sewing machine because she used to sew which is why she has all these magazines she will come help me thread my mag my magazine she will come help me thread my sewing machine and show me how to do it as soon as I'm feeling better so some of these some of these are above my skill level right now but I, I want to get there there's this one Top stitching skills. Don't really know anything about that, but. Oh, that is a really pretty piece of fabric right there. I know they're not, they're not advertising the fabric, but that is gorgeous. I've seen some um, crochet patterns for like stained glass looking blankets and oh my god I want to make them so so bad but yeah this is oh okay so this I don't even know what they're making here a pair of pants or something What are they making? What are they making? What are they making? I don't even know what they're making. Okay. Oh, I saw this. I gotta show you this. It says, to pull pants over wide hips, you may need a second zipper. And then there's this picture of this lady. Struggling to get her pants up. And I just laughed at that. That was, that's funny. Because we've all been there. We have all been there. But yeah, this is. There's not very many pictures in here because it's all like basically explaining things. It's showing a couple things here and there, but that looks cool. 
wouldn't mind making that one day. Looks pretty darn cool. <clears throat> Got to do draping back or draping necklines. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, why is this talking about sportswear? But this lady is totally not wearing sportswear at all. Do you think she looks like she's ready to go out and play some sports? I don't think so. Okay, but that's enough of that magazine. I'm going to show you the covers of all of these, but I'm not going to go through them because that's just going to take way too long. This one. Which, yes, I believe that is uh, beyond my skill level. But I'm learning. I will get there. Tenth anniversary issue in 1995. So yeah, these and these have some really cute things in them <clears throat> it's a cute dress I don't have anywhere to go to wear it to but it's cute I do not like that at all there's this one And this one, I don't really like that either. It's just not me. This is very cute though. That is very cute. I would definitely wear that. That is so cute. I'm picking up two magazines. I was wondering why they felt heavy. Dropping my magazines. This is cute. This whole outfit is cute. I don't think I'd wear the jacket and the shorts together because to me, if you're wearing a jacket, it means it's cold outside. And if you're wearing shorts, it means it's really hot outside. So I probably wouldn't wear them together, but I would make both of them. And probably just wear them with different things. So cute. And A Pretty Way to Hem by Machine. I think I may need to get <clears throat> a different machine. Because, and hear me out. You guys are going to say, but you just got that one. You haven't even used it yet. Blah, blah, blah. My husband cannot find jeans in his size. They don't make them short enough. Um, so, because he's got, he's got short legs. He cannot find jeans short enough. And my sewing machine is good for everything but like heavier material. Like denim. So, and I hate that he has to wait and wait and wait until he feels like hemming his pants because it's a lot of work to hem jeans by hand so i want to get like a sewing machine just for that Ooh, inside secrets of a chanel jacket I can't afford
Torch, no. I don't have to worry about that. I can tell you how to make bathing suits in this one. And then a pin for every purpose. Don't worry guys, only two more to go. And this one, a fun stylish belt. So, I can't wait to dive into these and see what I want to experiment with. Because I told my friend, I will, she, um, I may have told you this before. She wants me to make her a blanket, like a quilt, out of all of her dad's old t-shirts. Because he passed away recently, maybe not so recently. A year or two ago? No. Couldn't have been two years ago. Because I haven't been on my at my job for two years. Last year, he passed away. Um, and, yeah, I feel bad. I, I feel real bad for her. Because I know what that's like. I've lost both of my parents. And she was really close to her dad. And she was pretty much the only one taking care of him in the end. And, yeah, so she wants me to make her a quilt out of all of her dad's old t-shirts and then she wants me to find a backing for it so I'm gonna have to have her come to the store with me so she can pick out what she wants the back of the blanket to look like <clears throat> and I told her I will do it but I need to work on my sewing machine a little bit so I can actually get the feel for it and know what I'm doing because I don't want to mess up a blanket like that for her She's like, she's awesome. She's my best friend. So, um, yeah. She's helped me out a lot. She, we've gone out for my birthday together. Like, she's just awesome. And it turns out that we grew up, well, I mean, she was born in Detroit. But she moved right around the corner from me when she was in, like, the fourth or fifth grade. And we never met. Like, we know all the same people. We talk a lot of, uh, about a lot of the same people that we grew up with. And yeah, it's just, it's crazy. Because we never met each other. In fact, she was best friends <laughs> with one of my best friends. So, I mean, it's crazy. <coughs> 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 Excuse me, sorry for all the coughing. And I forgot to bring something down here with me to drink. So, I don't want to go back upstairs for, just for that. Um, I don't really know what else to talk to you guys about. Oh, I finished a project. Tiffany, I don't think she watches my videos, but Tiffany, if you are watching this video, please turn it off right now. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. You better be gone, Tiffany, if you were watching. I'm not playing around with you. <laughs> I made these little flip-flops for my baby knees. I had my sister-in-law. This is like the heel piece, the piece that goes behind your heel, and of course this part that goes on top of your foot. I told my sister-in-law to measure her feet. Let me show you close up. They're gorgeous. This is um, Premier Cotton. I don't think they make this anymore, but it's it's not home cotton. It's um, I don't know. It's a lot softer. But I made her these little flip flops for my baby knee. Hold on, my husband is messaging me. Okay, sorry guys. Apparently my daughter is calling for me and he is getting annoyed. Welcome to my world. He can handle it for a couple of minutes. Um, 
I will go up there. I just want to show you guys these. This is Premier Home Cotton. I don't think they're not Home Cotton. This is Premier Cotton. It came in like the big balls. I don't think they make this anymore. But I made her these little flip flops. And they are so cute. Now the pattern says to make like the bottom of this here. The bottom part in one color. Like a solid color. And then take a second color and do like a border around here and then use a second color to do this and I've made these flip-flops before I have done it like that it's cool like that but I really wanted to use this pretty yarn and I don't think I have any of those colors in um solid cotton so I made her these. I want to make her another pair. I want to make her headbands and sun hats to match both. So we'll see how that goes. I don't, I am not going to be able to get it done by this weekend, but at the very least you'll have a cute pair of flip flops. So <clears throat> there's that. I'm going, I was going to grab something to eat before I went upstairs because I'm really hungry. I only ate once today, but, uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait again. I shall go upstairs and rescue my husband. I will see you guys in the next one. Probably on Tuesday again. Because I'm, I'm having a lot of fun getting back into these videos. So. I will finish up here. See Skittles right here. Hey baby. baby that's my girl I'm trying to talk my husband into getting a dog he doesn't want one he wants us to get our gate fixed which I understand that does have to be done first because our gate it doesn't have a latch on it the latch broke and this was broken before we moved in so what the people did before we before we moved in they had a rope connecting one side of the gate with the other side and now one of the pieces of, because it's made out of wood. <clears throat> so they had a piece of rope tied into one, tied into one piece of wood going, the, that goes this way, you know, all the pieces of wood go this way and then this way and then this way and then this way. So I hope I'm explaining this halfway decent. So they had a piece of rope, a piece of thick rope tied into one side and then it's like tied into a knot so you can loop it over the other side. And that is not working very well because if we're not watching the girls, the girls can squeeze out of the gap in between. They just push one gate out and then there's enough of a gap between the two that they can squeeze out. So now what we've had to do is we have to put our recycling bin in front of the gate where the gap is, where they come together and block it so that they can't get out. And... I don't know how much it costs to replace it because I do I just want it I don't even know why they did that kind of gate it doesn't continue into the backyard or anything it's just but whatever but we're gonna replace it eventually um we just got to find out how much it costs and see if we have the money so if we can get it fixed this year I would like to get the girls a dog for Christmas I'm trying to talk my husband into that if we have to wait for the following year, that's fine. We can get him a dog. I don't know. Maybe next Christmas. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to talk my husband into it. He's saying no because we already have a cat and he doesn't want more than one animal. <clears throat> he doesn't want more than one animal in the house. And um, he's using the excuse also that Adeline is afraid of Skittles. She's not so scared anymore. She's getting used to Skittles. And Skittles is getting used to her. Skittles just stays downstairs in the basement all the time anyways. If we got a dog, it wouldn't be allowed in the basement. Because I know Skittles is skittish. So our do the dog wouldn't be allowed in the basement. Just like let Skittles come up at her own risk. And when she's feeling comfortable, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get... I, I said that wrong. At her own risk. 
sounds like I'm going to get any old dog who's not good with cats and will attack her and she can come up and get attacked if she wants to. That's not what I meant. I meant she can come up at her own risk because that's what she will be thinking in her head because she is terrified <coughs> when she feels more comfortable. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get a dog that is good with cats. I've been looking at, um, there's a website online called Pet Finder. I've been looking on there and they will tell you if the dog is good with kids, good with cats, whatever, because I adopt. I'm not going to go out and buy, spend money on a, on a special breed or whatever. I am going to adopt. But I am looking for breeds that are known to be good for kids. So, all of that said, I'll keep you updated on that if you want. Um, keep you updated on my sewing, how that goes, my sewing journey. Um, of course, my crochet stuff. I will show you everything that I make. Um, if I don't have time to show it before I give it away, I will take pictures of it and show you that way at the end of the video. Okay. Um, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.